Hi, it's Katrina. Number 10. The City of the Anunnaki. Archaeologists recently discovered an ancient metropolis over 200,000 years old in Africa. Some people think this metropolitan area was home to the legendary Anunnaki, the great celestial gods that came down from the heavens and gave human beings life. The Mesopotamians worshipped these beings as gods, yet nobody knows where they went. They just showed up on the planet, allowed the first great civilizations to worship them, and then they disappeared. At least that's the fun story. But in reality, they were most likely gods that faded over time, like the gods on Mount Olympus. Researchers discovered this bizarre city in southern Africa, in a remote region with very few humans. Locals have known about the ruins for centuries, but they never thought much about them that we know of. They thought the old broken walls were just the remnants of ancient farms. But this area was covered in gold deposits, most of which have been taken over the past 500 years. Some believe the Anunnaki settled here specifically to mine gold and created human workers using advanced genetic technology. Of course, this is all speculation. There may be some small ruins here, leftovers from an unknown ancient civilization. But they've only been seen through satellite images in the past and are heavily eroded. Mainstream scientists haven't said a word about this discovery, which, if true, would push back the date of the first great city on Earth by over 190,000 years. Number 9. The Gujian Blade About 50 years ago, archaeologists discovered an unusual sword inside a Chinese tomb. This sword was over 2,000 years old, and it shocked archaeologists because it didn't have a single trace of rust. The blade looked perfect when they excavated it, and it even drew blood when an archaeologist pressed his finger against its edge. Somehow, this sword had not been affected by 2,000 years sealed underground. The craftsmanship was remarkable. The sword was covered in detailed markings, and it seemed too perfect for something crafted so long ago. It was so impressive that the government of China declared it a state treasure. And for the Chinese, this sword is now as famous as King Arthur's Excalibur. Archaeologists originally found the sword in 1965 while they were surveying the ruins of Jinan, the old capital of the Chu state. During the excavations, they came across 50 ancient tombs. They found over 2,000 artifacts, along with what came to be known as the Gujian Sword. The sword was in a wooden box that had been placed next to a skeleton, untarnished, made from solid bronze, and still sheathed in the scabbard. It's a double-edged straight sword, one of the earliest types used in China, and according to the inscription on the sword, it belonged to the King of Yu. The big mystery is that archaeologists don't know which King of Yu owned the sword, and nobody knows how the sword remained so sharp while being stuck in a box for 2,000 years. Researchers believe it has something to do with the unique properties of the sword, but all these years later, nobody has replicated the technology used to make it or identify all of its specific properties. Number 8. Anti-Gravity Jars About 300 years ago in India, anti-gravity jars were created. These magical jars could be filled with water, flipped upside down, and no water would come out. Three centuries ago, seeing the magic jar in action blew people's minds. They didn't realize what they were seeing was just science, and they thought they were seeing magic. You can see one of these jars at the Museum of Kanchipuram. It was made of clay, but it has no top opening to fill it up. The only way to fill the jar with water is to flip it over and then pour water through the five holes at the bottom. When you flip the jar back over, not a single drop of water leaks out from any of the holes. The only way to get the water out is by pouring it through the spout at the top. There aren't any moving parts inside the jar. Instead, an unknown genius figured out how to fit twin funnels and a 90-degree bent pipe inside the jar to make it seem like magic. We don't know who invented the jar, but we know where it first appeared, in a village called Karigiri. The potters here were so creative that they built over 100 varieties of magic jars, although there are only 12 left today, and they are all in museums. Number 7. The Great Mechanism 
One of the most mysterious things ever pulled out of the ocean has got to be the Antikythera mechanism, dubbed the world's first computer. Sponge divers found it near the Greek island of Antikythera back in 1901. The computer is about the size of a shoebox, a bizarre contraption made of gears and dials, and it almost looks like the insides of a giant clock. You may have heard about the world's first computer before, but what I'm about to tell you is brand new. Archaeologists believe they have finally figured out the time when this mechanism first started ticking. December 22nd, 178 BC. This was not an easy conclusion to make. Scientists have been struggling for 120 years to figure out who made the device, why they made it, and what they used it for. Recently, there has been a lot of speculation about ancient aliens and the mechanism being a lost component to one of their machines. But the mechanism had probably been used as a type of calendar. The machine could predict when the next eclipse would happen, it could determine when athletic games were to take place, and other things like that. Researchers with the Functional Reconstruction of Antikythera Mechanism Project got the start date by looking at the earliest day that any calculation on the machine could be made. There was a solar eclipse on December 22nd that lasted over 12 minutes, and December 23rd is the winter solstice. It makes sense that the machine that predicted eclipses was activated on the same day as one. There's still a lot of mystery here. We don't know how the mechanism was made, who figured out the complicated math, or who was going to use it. Number 6. Martians in Japan If you haven't heard the theory that a cataclysmic event happened on Mars hundreds of years ago and forced all the inhabitants to settle on Earth, now you have. It's completely outrageous. There is no evidence to support that a war on the Martian surface forced everyone to move one planet over, but some people are convinced. To help back up this bizarre theory, a connection has been made between a rock formation on the Red Planet and a historical structure in Japan. The Japanese made the Kofun tomb look like a giant keyhole. It is an immense burial mound still holding the remains of a long-dead Japanese emperor. The tomb is so big that it's still one of the largest monuments ever built, measuring over 1,500 feet long. A similar structure was found on the Martian surface using satellite images. It's dusty and red, yet it looks just like the keyhole burial mound in the Osaka prefecture of Japan. There is no denying the distinct keyhole shape is nearly the same. Conspiracy theorists argue that the one on Mars could be the remnants of an ancient burial mound proving that humans might have lived on Mars. Or it could just be a coincidence, and the keyhole-shaped structure on Mars could just be a normal rock formation. Number 5. Crusader Hand Grenades Archaeologists have discovered ancient ceramic pots in Jerusalem. Scientists say the Crusaders used these strange pots, which were made in the 11th and 12th centuries, as hand grenades. This would make them some of the first hand-thrown explosives in the world. But scientists aren't 100% sure yet. They know these ceramic pots were used for all kinds of different things. Ancient people used them to hold mercury, as containers for oil, and just to drink out of. But new research by the Griffith University in Queensland has shown that at least one vessel contained potentially explosive material. The other three shards they looked at contained traces of oils and medicines. The fourth one had traces of sulfur, magnesium, and mercury. It could very well be that the Crusaders had figured out how to turn black powder into a devastating aerial bomb. Black powder was invented in ancient China and brought to the Middle East and Europe in the 13th century, right around the time Europeans made these pots. Number 4. Mysterious Stone Discs A team of researchers found over a dozen mysterious carved discs in Russia near Volgograd. This happened back in 2015, and was immediately controversial. The research team claimed that the strange disks they found contained a high-density metal called tungsten, something found mostly in military technology. And while the origin and nature of these strange stone disks remain a mystery, many believe they could be chunks of debris from an ancient spaceship. Though the team had discovered over 12 disk-shaped rocks earlier, they recently found a much larger one. One researcher, Vadim Chernobrov, told a Russian news agency, We already found a dozen of these discs of not more than three feet in diameter, and in Kuzbas a disc of about six and a half feet in diameter. The issue is the tungsten. 
It shouldn't be in an ordinary rock, never mind in 12 random disks of stone buried in the Russian wilderness. UFO junkies were quick to connect the stones to extraterrestrial technology, but the stones are probably just the result of erosion. This kind of thing can happen over millions of years, which is why you can find perfectly circular rocks on just about every beach in the world. These stone disks are strange, and their chemical composition is questionable. But for now, there is no more information to go on. Number 3. Skinwalker Ranch If there's one strange place in the U.S. where scientists are stumped, it's Skinwalker Ranch. The property, which is 512 acres in northeast Utah, was home to an explosion of UFO sightings in the 1960s and 70s. Then, going on into the 1990s, Stories came out about cattle mutilations and more alien sightings. It's also a paranormal hotspot, with a high concentration of both UFO sightings, electromagnetic anomalies, and unexplained happenings. Brandon Fugal, a real estate mogul, purchased the property in 2016 to conduct scientific research. He wanted to see if the ranch was as spooky as everyone said. He was hoping to look at things from a more scientific perspective, seeing if he could pinpoint the source of all the strangeness. Whether it be a thin wall between planes of existence or just something in the soil. Fugal said that he acquired the property from billionaire Robert Bigelow for the purpose of conducting scientific research to determine if there was any validity to the extraordinary claims of paranormal activity. He said, although I acquired the ranch as a skeptic, I eventually had my own undeniable close encounter. A UFO sighting in broad daylight with multiple witnesses. But so far, nobody has come up with anything. Skinwalker Ranch is an anomaly, where people see spirits and aliens, but nobody knows why. Number 2. The Hanging Pillar At this 16th century Lipashki temple in India, there is something rather unusual. The Indian temple features stunning sculptures of gods and goddesses, beautiful reliefs of dancers and musicians, and countless paintings plastered over the walls. Its columns are huge, showcasing some of the most impressive architecture in the country. There is a large fresco of Virabhadra, which is the biggest fresco of an ancient god in the country. There is even a giant bull at the front of the temple carved from a single block of stone, supposedly the biggest in the world. But the incredible engineering goes one step further, with a wonder that nobody can quite figure out. Seventy stone pillars are supporting the ceiling but one of them isn't touching the ground. It's floating above the surface, only about half an inch, but it's enough to pass pieces of paper, scraps of cloth, and other things directly underneath it. The pillar is simply floating, attached to the ceiling and not even touching the ground. We don't know how this is happening or exactly why the column ended up like that. Locals say it happened when a British engineer tried to remove the pillar as part of an attempt to uncover the secret of how the temple was built. But he failed, the column was dislodged, and now it floats. What's your theory? Let me know in the comments below! Number 1. The Ica Stones The Ica Stones may or may not be real. They can be traced back to Dr. Javier Cabrera Darquea, who was given a mysterious stone tablet by a Peruvian farmer. The stone showed a strange fish, one that appeared to exist long before humans ever roamed the earth. It was the doctor's impression that either aliens had given humans the insider info about the extinct fish, or the timeline of human evolution and mass extinctions were wrong. This was an intriguing idea, and so Cabrera went searching for more of these mysterious stones. He found a cave loaded with them, over 100,000 stones with unbelievable engravings. Yet he told no one where this cave was, preventing thieves from taking the stones for themselves. As he found more and more of these stones, the pictures on them got even crazier. Some stones were carved with modern surgeries, flying machines, humans riding dinosaurs, and astronomical knowledge that only 20th century humans have. It was at this point that people realized Cabrera was nuts. The original farmer who gave the first stone to Cabrera admitted he had carved it himself. No scientific studies have ever been done to prove the Ica stones are genuine. And after Cabrera died in 2001, there was nobody left to say the stones were authentic. Most scientists agree they were part of an elaborate hoax to get more tourists into the region. Did it work? Thanks for watching! 
Which of these shocking ancient mysteries did you find the most intriguing? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And remember to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. See you later. Bye!